It's day 290. Abu Sufyan's bewilderment. The Prophet wanted Abu Sufyan to see the strength of the Muslim army with his own eyes. So he gave Abbas a task. Take Abu Sufyan to where the horses are going to pass. Let him see all of Allah's army. After this, he himself also joined the army so as to pass in front of Abu Sufyan. The soldiers were getting ready to enter Mecca. Abbas took Abu Sufyan to the narrowest place in the valley. From that point, he could see the army better. After observing the awesome scene, Abu Sufyan could not believe his eyes. The soldiers of the Prophet were riding on the backs of very strong horses. They numbered about 10,000 and were saying in unison, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. Abu Sufyan was thinking of how Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the one that those in Mecca wanted to kill, was now with this army. How had he put together such an army? How had he gathered 10,000 men? Many who had been against him just a while ago were now his helpers. When the soldiers passed one by one in front of Abu Sufyan, he asked Abbas, Has Muhammad passed? Not yet, said Abbas. Who knew what it would be like when he passed? Abu Sufyan waited for that moment anxiously. At the entrance of the passage down in the valley, he saw about a hundred soldiers on horseback. They had shields, flags and banners. As the sunshine reflected off their shields, they were proceeding in an orderly manner. There was someone in the middle of them. He must be somebody important. He was on the back of a camel. Abu Sufyan had goosebumps. Subhanallah, he said. Glory be to God. Who is this, Abbas? Abbas smiled. That is the messenger of Allah and those around him are the Ansar and Muhajirun, the helpers and the immigrants. Abu Sufyan's amazement increased. He said, Abbas, great sovereignty has been given to the son of your brother. I have never seen any king in the world with such sovereignty. This is not sovereignty, said Abbas. This is prophethood. Yes, said Abu Sufyan. This is prophethood. After seeing this, Abu Sufyan quickly went back to Mecca. All the pagans gathered around him. Abu Sufyan told them that he had become a Muslim. The confusion of the pagans was now twofold. In great excitement, Abu Sufyan continued, Muhammad had become very strong. He is coming towards you with a force which you will not be able to resist. Become Muslims and save yourselves. The pagans were dumbfounded. Without saying a word, they just returned to their houses. A few of them said, Let us put up a fight against them. But nobody listened to them. All of them realized that they could no longer resist the Muslims.